Finally, a fall cold front to move through Florida, at least parts of Florida. Jeff Hoffinger from the UF Weather Center. A few showers and thunderstorms marking the arrival of that front this evening. We've had a couple of cells drifting in already. As I advance this to 10 or 11 o'clock, notice a few more try to get going here, and some of them could be locally strong. Maybe some claps of thunder out there into the late evening hours. By 1 or 2 a.m., most of the rain moves on, but the clouds do linger through daybreak, and I think through much of tomorrow, we will see a generally cloudy sky. Overnight, though, rain chances going away. Temperatures kind of flatlining in the mid 60s, but hold that thought for just a minute. And we're going to be even cooler than that coming up tomorrow night. It's all because of this front moving in. Not only is it going to drop our temperature, but look at the difference in the air mass. This is the high resolution water vapor. You can see that moisture streaming out of the Gulf of Mexico, but behind it's that brown color. That's the drier air that'll be sweeping in by tomorrow night into Wednesday. There's already a notable drop in temperature taking place across the southeast, some 10 to 15, even close to 20 degrees cooler than 24 hours prior, and that's going to be our air mass in the next uh, 24 to 36 hours. Not only the temperature going down, but our muggy meter. Remember, 70s is kind of sweltering and really muggy. We're going to drop all the way into the 50s. That's the dew point, a measure of the moisture in the air, and we'll start to feel that by Tuesday evening into Wednesday morning. The clouds stick around for much of Tuesday. It's also going to be breezy, and notice the temperatures only hitting the mid-70s. Remember how many days in a row we've been up around 90? This will be a remarkable difference, and you're really going to notice it by Wednesday morning. 57 in Lake City, 59 in High Spring, 61 in Gainesville. We have not seen these numbers since early May. It has been a long, sweltering summer. Here's my updated six day forecast. What a great week weather wise. Highs in the low 80s with a mix of clouds and sun. Overnight lows dropping well into the 60s the rest of the week.